Welcome to Great Chefs of the Caribbean, featuring the New World cuisine from some of the island's finest chefs. This time from Mexico, Mark Erler. From Virgin Gorda, Benoit Papin. And from St. Thomas, Chris Fulcher. Mark Erla assumed the job of executive chef at the opulent Ritz-Carlton Cancun. He asked his new kitchen staff to each prepare a favorite dish of their grandmothers. The idea of a man from Provence if ever there was one. It's doubtful that many grandmothers would come up with this, Caribbean tuna tartare. A mayonnaise-like mixture that will bind the tuna is made by sweating onions, which are seasoned with Mexican spices, including achiote seed, which here is basically a coloring agent. The mango. Cubed banana and mango are added. Then chicken stock goes in and the mixture is reduced. After it is reduced, the mixture is put in a blender, strained and cooled. Note the red color, the result of the achiote seed. Now mayonnaise is made by using this base. Dry. Pour the paste in a, in a bowl. So you can either pour the paste in a bowl or simply put it in a mixer, in a food processor. Then you take the egg yolk, just one egg yolk. And then you're going to whip in the oil very slowly, okay? Okay, very slowly. For the tuna tartare, the chef uses sushi grade. The tartare will be wrapped in oven-dried mango slices. Now you season them with uh, black pepper corn, fresh crushed black pepper corn. Uh, and uh, why fresh black pepper corn? Because of the flavor. It's, uh, it's a much uh, deeper flavor and to me, reminds me of the Caribbean somehow. So uh, now we're gonna place the mangoes in a sheep and in the oven directly 200 degrees and it's gonna last for about 10 hour, an hour to 20 minutes. Okay, you have to watch them, maybe uh, rotate the pan to make sure that, uh, that actually they are not uh, uh, burnt or too brown. Why do we dry them? It's because the flavor, uh, we really, what we do is we remove the water from the, the mangoes and what remains is only the flavor, so it concentrates actually the flavor. And why the oil on the bottom? Because if you don't actually bring some moisture to the bottom of the, the mango, uh, they're going to dry and then they're actually going to be very chewy and you're not going to be able to, uh, to actually uh, eat them. As you can see they are perhaps the size, you just cut them in a half in order to do the presentation so you're going to cut them in a half and now we are going to actually put the whole dish together. Okay, we're going to season the tuna tartare with the paste with the paste or really the mayonnaise Okay. Everything was kept refrigerated, okay, flavor. Huh? So you put a little bit at a time, you're going to mix it. Okay, the idea is it's, uh, the paste is used as a seasoning and the binder. Okay, so it is, you, you cannot put too much, if not then you're going to lose the flavor of the tuna and uh, and only actually test the spices and the fruits. Okay, so you see now the tuna actually comes together and actually sticks together. So you mix it well. Okay. And now it's ready to actually be molded. You try it. The tartare is molded sushi style using a banana leaf. A squeeze of lime juice goes into the tartare. The dried mango slices go onto the banana leaf first. Use it the same way as if you are making a sushi. 
Now you have the mango, which would be the seaweed, the tuna. If you can even eat as much as you can to make it easy to roll from the top to the bottom. Okay. And then you roll it and squeeze it. Squeeze. Don't be afraid. I mean, don't give too much pressure, but don't be afraid to actually make it stick together by giving it a little pressure. You see? It's important that you go back to the bottom of it and that you really roll it. Okay? Now we just put the mango inside and now we're going to roll it. If you don't have a banana leaf at home, you can always use a plastic wrap. This is important because we're going to set it up standing up so the presentation uh, actually has some uh, dimension to the plate. And if it is not uh, pressed enough, then it's not going to stand. And the next step will be just to eat it. That's when the fun begins, really. Okay, so you take your tuna tartare out of your banana leaf, set it in the middle of the plate, okay? Make sure it's nice and steady. Remove the banana leaf, okay? Here we're gonna take the, you, you may use a fennel, celery, anything like this. Take a little mandolin or you can take a big one and actually shave it. Okay. This you have little shavings of celery and you can actually put them around the plate. You can use fennel, you can use any kind of uh, any kind of uh, vegetables. Okay, after this, we're gonna take the spoon and mold the spoon and set the spoon. Actually, on a tartare. The spoon is made with masa dough, then baked. Now to stay. Sprinkle. Ah, you have the, you saved one ounce of that paste originally, as we said on the recipe and uh, you're just gonna add a little bit of chicken stock to make it liquid okay and then out of this you're just gonna sprinkle a few leaves around just to season the celery okay and you can di change different colors you can put a little black a little green or anything like this okay you have to make sure that the, your, your tartar is 